Hi, I'm Don McLean, agronomist with FS Partners, here along with Dave Curry, one of our crop specialists from our Mitchell Harmony Hub. Today we're going to talk a little bit about what you should be looking for in a winter wheat field when you first come into it in the spring to assess it. Dave, what do you look for? Thanks, Don. So we're standing here today in, in Oxford County in a field of CNM 614, soft red winter wheat. And things that I look for in, in a spring assessment in a field, um, I'll go through a few of the the topics. So first I want to get down and, and dig out some plants and actually look at what's growing in the field. So just we'll have a look here. We're, we're going to dig out a section of some wheat um, and the idea is to knock some of the soil off and, and really take a look at assess the, the individual plants. So we've, we've got a nice looking healthy green bunch of shoots here um, and then we flip it over and take a look at, at the root system. Um, definitely a, a nice looking root system. Uh, the roots are, are white, they're growing. This, this crop here has broken dormancy. It's actively growing and it's starting to green up. So it, it's healthy in my opinion. Um, now we'll take the, the individual plant, so an individual wheat, wheat plant here, and, and just this is a great time to start counting tillers. Um, so in this plant here we have three tillers and, and a king head. Um, it was planted nice and early, so it, it definitely looks good. We're off to the races here and we should have some great yield potential in this field. Um, another thing to have a look at is planting, or counting your, your plants per foot of row. So something I will do is take this trowel, which is about a foot long, and put it down on the ground next to my wheat row. And I'd like to see as, as close as possible to 20 plants per foot of row, and that would get me my maximum yield potential in terms of a population. Um, another thing at, at this time of year is just have a look across the field and check out your general stand assessment if you have some low spots that maybe there was some winter kill issues or this is a great time to look for snow molds and really get an idea if this is a field that you have to rip up or if you can go ahead and start managing it for your tremendous wheat crop. Um, we're definitely standing in a great field here. Um, other things to look for at this time of year is for your, your winter annuals and perennial weeds. So things like chickweed, um, Canada fleabane, uh, your dandelions and sow thistle and if, if you find these in the field it's a great time to start uh, working out your herbicide programs and the different strategies you're going to have to have going forward. Back to you Don. Okay one last thing I want to show you guys is just the um, impact of planting and planting timing. This, this wheat uh, plant here although healthy was planted on November the 2nd so late here uh, and this one was planted on September 17th and it came from this wheat field. You can see uh, it's off, really healthy. This one's a little smaller and stuff and we're gonna probably wanna push this a little bit earlier with a little bit of early nitrogen to try to keep it going. So on that, um, thank you for watching this video and think of FS Partners for all your crop production needs.